Removing a tick from human skin should be done carefully to reduce the risk of disease transmission. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to remove a tick correctly. Use fine-tip tweezers. Use fine-tip tweezers to grasp the tick as close to the skin surface as possible. Ensure you have a good grip without squeezing the tick too hard. Avoid crushing the tick. Do not crush the tick's body, as this may increase the risk of disease transmission. Ticks can carry various pathogens that can be transmitted through their body fluids. Pull straight up. Gently and steadily pull upward with even pressure. Avoid twisting or jerking the tick, as this can cause its mouth parts to break off and remain in the skin. In some cases, the skin can be broken and injured. Use to tweezers. If there is a risk of skin injury, to tweezers can be used to remove the tick more safely. As before, hold the part of the tick closest to the skin with one tweezer and press the skin with the other tweezer under it. Then the tick comes off without breaking the skin. By doing this, the skin is not injured and the tick's mouth parts are not broken and left on the skin. Clean the bite area. After removing the tick, clean the bite area with rubbing alcohol, an iodine scrub, or soap pan water. Dispose of the tick. Dispose of the tick by placing it in a sealed bag or remove it irreversibly. Wash your hands. Thoroughly wash your hands with rubbing alcohol, an iodine scrub, or soap and water. Save the tick. If you are concerned about potential diseases transmitted by ticks, you may save the tick in a sealed container or a plastic bag. This can be helpful for identification purposes if you develop symptoms later on. Monitor for symptoms. Keep an eye on the bite site for any signs of infection or an allergic reaction if you experience symptoms such as fever, rash, or flu-like symptoms. Consult a healthcare professional.